Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP script and now we will start with a new topic as a part of SAP script and our new topic is how we can convert a SAP script output to PDF. So many people ask about this particular topic. Now it's a turn to cover this topic. Now, if you remember during smart form, we covered this topic, how we can convert a smart form output to PDF. Anyways, Adobe forms are just like output in the form of PDF because Adobe forms are PDF forms. Now we will learn or we will understand how we can convert a SAP script output to PDF. Now the best part is we need to follow the same to same steps which we did during smart form. The only thing is yes, we have different column names or different code will be there, but the steps or process are the same which we did during the smart form. Now, what is our first step? Whenever we want to convert a SAP script output to PDF, so firstly, we will get the OTF of the SAP script. We all know OTF stands for output text format. So firstly, we will get the OTF of the SAP script. Now the question comes where or when, in which particular parameter we will get the OTF of the SAP script into this particular function module. If you remember, we used this particular function module close underscore form in SAP script into this particular function module, we have a parameter which will return the OTF. If I will go for close underscore form function module into this particular parameter, we will get the OTF. So first step is we need to get the OTF of the SAP script. Once we get the OTF, we will convert that OTF to PDF and how we can convert that OTF to PDF using the function module convert underscore OTF. So this function module convert the OTF to PDF. During smart form, we did same to same thing. Firstly, we need to get the OTF. Then we will convert that OTF to PDF using this particular function module and same process we will follow here. After that, it's a separate thing. We need to send the mail of the PDF or we want to download that PDF. That's a separate thing. But whenever we will convert that SAP script output to PDF, we will go for same to same two steps here. Now we will start with the practical part and we will go for first step how we can get a OTF of the SAP script. So I will go for our driver program. Now, now into this particular parameter, we will get OTF. But firstly, SAP has to understand that we want OTF. If you remember during smart form, there is a particular column get OTF. We pass that column to capital X. So that can SAP can understand that we want OTF. Here also, we need to pass that column to capital X so that SAP can understand that we want a OTF. So we will see where that particular column is. Now, if I will go for open underscore form function module, we have a parameter options. As a part of this, we already used TD test and TD preview to pass the output device and to set the value of preview to true. Now we will see, is there any particular column for the OTF? We will check that column. I will double click on here. It is of this type. We'll see. Do we have a particular column for the OTF? I will simply go for find OTF. We'll go for, this is screen display position. This is not. Okay, you can see we have a particular column TD get OTF. It will return the OTF table. We will use this particular column. 
and will pass it to capital X. LWA underscore options hyphen TD get OTF to capital X. Capital X means two. SAP will understand that we want OTF. This particular value will go to this particular function module using this particular packet. Now into this close underscore form function module, it will return the OTF data. So I will simply uncomment this. I will declare one internal table in front of OTF data. LT underscore OTF. Now what will be the type of this internal table? It will be same as that of OTF data. So I will simply double click and check the type of this. I will go to tables tab. OTF data is of this type. So now I will declare one internal table into my program. I will write data LT underscore OTF type table of this because it is an internal table. It's a part of tables tab. So it is an internal table. So into this particular internal table, we will get the OTF. So our first step is over. We are getting the OTF of the SAP script. Yes, SAP script output. And we used this particular function module close underscore form. Now, what is our second step? We need to convert this OTF to PDF. And what is the function module? Convert underscore OTF. Now, we will use this function module. I will go to pattern button. I will call this function convert underscore OTF. Now we will pass the various values. Firstly, the best practice and comment the exceptions. Now I will simply, simply uncomment the exporting. What is the format? We want to go for which particular format? PDF. Now, now I will pass the OTF. In which internal table you have the OTF? LT underscore OTF. Now, this function module will convert this OTF to PDF and into this particular parameter, we will get the PDF. I will write LT underscore PDF. So this OTF will be converted to PDF and into this particular parameter, we will get the PDF. If what is the type of LT underscore PDF, it will be same as that of lines. How I can check that type? This lines is of this type. Now I will declare in my program data LT underscore lines. It is also an internal table, type table of this. I will check the syntax up to this level. Okay, LT underscore PDF. Okay, I will write LT underscore PDF. So our second step is done. So into this internal table, we have the OTF. This OTF is converted to PDF. And into this particular internal table, we have the PDF. Now we can simply download this PDF. You all know if you want to download the data on the presentation server, we have a function module GUI underscore download. So I will simply use that function module. You can go for mail also. It's totally depends upon the requirement. I will go for pattern. And I will write GUI underscore download. Now I will simply pass the file name. File name is here we need to go for file path. How I can go for file path? Suppose I will create one document here. Suppose notepad and I will check the path. I will go for properties. I will copy this and I will pass the path. 
suppose my name of the PDF will be order dot PDF. Now I will simply simply go for file type and I will pass the file type as bin binary. Whenever you want to download the data as it is without any conversion, we are always passing the file type as bin. If you want more detailed understanding, you can refer the smart form playlist. There we will give the full explanation. Whenever you want the data to download as it is, you are going for file type as bin. Now we need to pass the internal table in which internal table you have the data. LT underscore PDF. So this particular data, which is in this internal table, it will download onto this particular path without any conversion. Best practices, we should always, always uncomment the exceptions. Now I will check the syntax up to this level. It is syntactically correct. Now I'm activating the program. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with a new topic and so many people ask about this particular topic, how we can convert a SAP script output to PDF. By, if by mistake, I told smart form, so it is SAP script output to PDF because smart form is already covered, yes. Now, how you can convert a SAP script output to PDF? Step same to same. Firstly, you need to get the OTF. Yes. To get the OTF, what we did, we simply pass this column to capital X, TD get OTF to capital X. Into this particular internal table, we will get the OTF, which is a part of close underscore form function module. After that, we simply, simply use this function module. This function module will convert the OTF to PDF and into this internal table, we will get the PDF. Now, after that, we are using this GUI download function module. This function module will download this PDF onto this particular path without any conversion. Now, in the next video, we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be cleared in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.